Oh, shoot. Didn't see you there. I we, didn't know uh, we're being watched. We were working really hard. Usually people announce when they sneak up on you. Yeah, but you yeah. guys. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are here because John and I were talking and we actually had a couple things that we thought we could discuss with you. Yeah, five points. Wait, are we in focus? We're in focus. Five signs that you're ready to leave your small town as an actor. You said this in the last mm -hmm. video. You gotta go to where the work is. Point number one. You've discovered your dream as an actor. You want to do it and you're willing to sacrifice everything else. It's, it's decided. This is your career, but beyond it being your career, you've also decided this, this, and this, I'm willing to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. What could be amongst those? Friendships, relationships, jobs. jobs. <laughs> jobs. Your dreams will come true if you push yourself in the new city. I kind of have a romantic view of it, and I, just like, kind of like love. If you say you love somebody and they say you, they love you back, it's almost like there shouldn't be anything that should stop you from going after it then. That's a little too romantic, I understand that it is. If that's your dream and you love it and you want to do it, there shouldn't be anything, even if it's your hobby. You Excuse up... me while I quiet the harpsichord in I... my, my chesticle. It is romantic. It's like, oh, I would love to be working and, and mm -hmm. getting towards this dream of mine, but here I am. And you're willing to work at it as like harder than you've ever worked in your life. And the good thing is, Gordon and I, we've found a way that we work well together. And this started back when we were running an improv troupe. And now, point number two, no FOMO. No FOMO, no fear of missing out. And when we talk about that, we talk about professionally. If you're an actor and you have been pushing yourself for the last couple of years, you just haven't moved to a big city yet, it's likely that you have some classes that you've enrolled in already, that you have some projects lined up, you've been casting, you're in talks to do a project. Mm -hmm. you got to be willing to set a date, maybe, to have those things end. Hey, I'm not going to pick up any more projects after this date. Or just be willing to cut it off. Hey, I'm sorry, i got to move. i I, I got to go. And I think the key to this point is you're, you're not worried about what you're missing out on professionally. Point number three it has to do with finances. Now, this we couldn't just boil it down to one thing because it's I've, everybody's different in this field, right? Some people have more support. Some people don't. Yeah. I was in a spot where I was like working this uh, this serving job, and before that I was working, uh, I was cooking, and I was just like, man, if I set a goal of like five thousand dollars, and I reach that goal of five thousand dollars, then I can move down there, and I I won't be an issue. Well, after doing that, it wasn't worth it. It's it's just you just gotta get down there. You're not gonna get. 10 grand and be like, all right, now 10 move. Then you're be like, well, let me get 15 because now I want to get a car and now I want to get this or that. And you're still stuck. You got to move. Part of the thing is you got to play, you got to set a date. I don't think we'd be here right now if we hadn't set a date. It kicked us in the butt. And I, I knew too, and I'm somebody who's like, if I say I'm going to do something, if I don't do it, I'm not going to be able to look at myself the same way. Yeah. And so when him and I made the date and we shook hands on it, and we told that. each other that that's the date we're going to move, October 15th. Like, I knew if we didn't do it that I would have thought less of myself. Number four, are you content with your life? Are you professionally content with what you're doing? If acting is your dream and you want that to be your main income, you want that to be your thing, being in a small town is going to be really difficult to be content. Yeah. I mean, it's possible. Ask it, yourself, too, are you content with the trajectory? Yeah. You might be in a small town making some big waves, but are those big waves on the trajectory to put you where you want to be in, say, a year's time, two years' time? Mm -hmm. Are you going to reach your ultimate career goal? If not, you might have to move, because there are some actors in Cleveland who have been acting for 20 years, and they're the biggest name in the Cleveland you know, acting community. They've been working on that for 20 years, and that's where their trajectory has landed them. That's they're okay where, with that. Yeah. You know, but some that, of them turned into teachers, which, I mean, that's just not for me. I can't do that uh, for the rest of my life. I'm down to teach, but I, I can't I can't be a teacher the rest of my life. I want to do it. Yeah, um, yeah. And that's that's their choice, and, and I totally respect That's a, definitely a more reasonable, realistic. But that's their career goal. That's their career goal. That's their career goal. And I don't want you to think, because I was content in Cleveland for probably three There's a good amount years. to gain out of a non-professional market, because yeah. you get to hone your skills in a way that a professional market might not give you the opportunity to do. 
-hmm. but there's a there's a limit to because that trajectory because you're learning so much it's actually still in line with your main trajectory that you actually want right yeah so it's just at some point once you hit four or five years that you're actually losing your momentum at least it was for us yeah Four, year four, I w like we weren't content in Cleveland for two years. Yeah. Uh, and that's what really got us. And then a year ago, we set the date of October 15th. A good marker to ask yourself is, can I live with myself where I'm currently at? If you're getting like depressed, you know, it may not be the season. It may be that you need to get up and move. When you decide to leave like if you think that's something to do it's you're, you're gonna be thinking about your family and you're thinking about your friends and your relationships and all this stuff and you're like man I, I, my entire family's here I don't want to just leave my family my friends that I've known I mean I, I'd be, be betraying them they'd feel whatever type of way but at the end of the day I finally realized that yes I miss my family I, I'm gonna miss them so much that's a sacrifice I'm making. But if I were to stay, I'm just going to continue to not be happy with where I'm at in my life. I mean, I took a huge risk in dropping out of college in order to pursue this. That would have been all for naught. I mean, it would have that risk that I took of dropping out means nothing. It meant nothing. If I had stayed, it's like, okay, well, I could have hung out with my family every day, but what does that do for me? Yeah. It's just going to be like, we're going to do, do the same thing every day. And I, it's not like I want to... You know, if you're living with your parents, I was living with my parents for until I was 23, 20, 23. And it's just like Bill Burr said, it's like when you wake up, your parents are like, Johnny, you want some eggs? <laughs> it's like, ah, dude. And they, they're telling you to clean up your room. You gotta get out. I got, I, I had to get out of, I had to get out of that house. Our final point, number five, has to do with timing. I mean, none of all this stuff before that we mentioned makes does nothing if the timing is not right for instance if you just got broken up with it might be time to leave if you just lost your job might be a good time to leave if your lease is up might be a good time to leave sometimes you got to make your own create your own destiny that way there's um, not going to be any cosmological event where it's just oh today's the day but there will be some life occurrences that are just kind of like this would be a really convenient time to slip out of you know this small town and go to a big city for us it was COVID because I mean I had my serving job but I also had some gigs lined up I was um, about to start teaching improv mm -hmm. and I had a couple acting gigs lined up as well lost all of them as soon as COVID hit so it just kind of like not only did we set a date to leave but now I don't have any jobs another thing that lined up for us is that we were we all had the goal to leave and our friends wanted to go so like our friends uh, other friends that went down to Atlanta just went to that's just it worked out that way for us it happened to but if you're trying to decide when and you know somebody else that's moving it's like okay maybe I can time it up with them so at least I know one person that's going yeah. down there I guess there's one last little point there's never gonna be a point in time where you feel you're ready to move down the timing might be lining up but you're still gonna feel like ah, the I don't know these three things lined up, but then I don't have the money that I want. It's just not always going to line up like that. You know? Yeah, I could move in October, but then why shouldn't I just... Because i got to fly back up for Christmas anyways. Why don't I just wait till January? And then January comes around, then there's a wedding you got to go to. You just got to do it. And yeah. there's no right timing. There's, you're never going to be prepared enough. You're never going to... you got to live your own life. You know, people might be telling you, ah... Man, I, I've seen some of your work. I just, I just don't know if it's for you or your parents. Like, there's one in a million, but all of those things might be true. You might suck, mm -hmm. but you got to live your own life. And there's no reason why, even if you did suck, that you can't get better. I mean, we certainly suck in several, <laughs> many areas. You know, we don't suck at everything, but we certainly do suck when it, like, there are just things that I just can't do when it comes <sighs> to acting. And, but you can get better, and you can train. You can work on it. Yeah. You just got to live your own life. And, and I, so I guess the, the, the five points we had were, one, you, you've discovered that acting is your dream and you're willing to sacrifice everything. Point number two is no FOMO. No fear of missing out professionally where you live at right now. Yeah. Number three, we just talked about finances. If your finances are in an okay spot to move down, but at ultimate we're like, does it really matter? I don't does, know. It doesn't matter. have to be. Uh, four... Are you content? Are you content with your life right now? If not, you better get down there. And number five, timing. Uh, is the timing right? Now, we understand that moving is a risk. 
Uh, it was for us. I, we don't know if it'll ever pan out. Uh, the only way we'll know is if you know we're down here. But there and we are get it. strategies that you can take to help it work out. Help it work out, mm -hmm. and uh, you can only see once you you've done it. And uh, you know I, you don't want to be that person that 50 years goes by and you're like, man, I wish I did, should have done it. So because you weren't content and you knew that 50 years ago. That's our video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Check us out on our other videos. We do a lot of content on just reacting to acting technique. Yeah, if anyone has any questions that you want to ask us or you want us to talk about uh, our perspective on, you know, drop a comment. Maybe send us an email. Um, we have links to all that stuff everywhere, right? Or yeah, you know? and you don't have to be an actor. You can just ask. Um, you can just ask us an, a question about acting if you, that you're curious about from a non-acting perspective, or if you are an actor. You can ask us a question. Anyway, see you guys. Peace out. I'm just going to do my time. It's going to be a breeze. <laughs>